Black G.I. I I dedicate this next record to the Soul Brothers of the 1st Infantry Divisions. Be safe. There was no way we could know a year and a summer ago that this was going to happen. But I think broadly speaking, he tries to work from the center of the culture, investigating things that are germane, pertinent to the most challenging aspects of the culture and what it means to be black in America. Just generally, that's where that's his point of departure. But even if George Floyd had not happened, and, I, and we all wish it had not happened, it still would have a relevance from the standpoint of the place that Spike works from and compelling the culture to look at itself and its issues. We've been dying for this country from the very get. We give this goal to our people. When we were coming up and we were watching you know, Malcolm X and Crooklyn and Do the Right Thing, and you watched them because they were the spy that was so pure and so honest and so authentic that went through it. And so to hear about it, to watch it, and then to be in the middle of it, I was very quickly jolted. I was like, okay, this, this, it is authentic. And because it is authentic, there is no, there's no bullshit. It's not like what he did before is what he was doing then. What he's doing then is what he's doing now. And I think, I think that's why he's lasted the test of time, which is why I was so privileged and so honored to be a part of this, knowing that he holds it steady. The authorities find out about this, y'all go back to the crib empty-handed. See, you just a little dried-ass gangster now, huh? After everything you put me through, I say you're getting a basement bargain. Playing this black Trump supporter, I know that wasn't ideal, but how did you lean into this perspective and bring it to the screen? The understanding that I came to with regard to the my having voted for that individual had to do with the betrayal and the loss, even though I have not experienced the same magnitude as Paul, I can absolutely relate to betrayal and loss. I can absolutely relate to feeling outside of. When one feels outside of, it's not a huge leap to extrapolate that feeling of being an outsider to being disenfranchised. They were the places psychological and emotionally where I arrived that I could then uh, use to justify the political decision that Paul had made. It was an adjustment. I initially was, I didn't want to do it. You broken man. So are you blaming yourself? You don't even know. That mistake of casting that vote for that individual adds to a list of mistakes that have happened in this man's life that cumulatively cause him to end up where he is. And that was a lot to battle against, to push back, to rage against, because the fact of the matter is, you know, conflict is drama. Mm -hmm. And Paul is full of conflict. Come on, Paul. <laughs> 